And new tonight in Portsmouth, neighbors gathered to discuss what they call documented cases of police brutality across the U.S. One candidate running for mayor this November organized the event to have hard talk about how police can better engage the community before any such violence erupts. Ten of your sides, Joe Fisher was there too. And Joe, what were some of the big concerns tonight? Well, Tom, the concerns really run the gamut from the public's lack of access to body camera video to the police department investigating their own officer involved shootings. This was a rather candid conversation, much of it race related. And the man who put on this event hopes city officials are listening. In walking distance from City Hall, a conversation Tuesday night about strengthening the relationship between police and the people they serve. Uh, one of the things that is no secret to the citizens of Portsmouth, we lack leadership. That failed leadership, according to mayoral candidate Barry Randall, has created tensions within the community. This third chat and chew event put on to hopefully ease those tensions before they spill over and cause violence. I think that for the most part, the citizens at large wants unity. They want to be one community. A panel of community and faith leaders, along with the city's vice mayor, weighed in on issues like the lack of access to officers' body camera video. We pay their salary. We pay for their cars, we pay for those videos, we pay for the t uh, equipment that they use to record. So I don't see what the big deal is or even why they have a say. The group also talked about officers getting on a first name basis with neighbors to better de-escalate situations down the road. So if you see Christopher out at one o'clock at night and you've met him the week before, you can say, hey, look, Christopher, you need to go back home. And Christopher will know you, you'll know Christopher. One of the panelists talked about his perceived disrespect from officers. Even when I attend a city council meeting, these police officers don't budge their lips to even say good evening. A former Portsmouth cop spoke to the fear some officers might have on the streets. That fear, he says, can be eliminated if people put their hands where officers can see them. A gun, knife, or anything else is not going to kill you if it does not have a hand wrapped around it. And police chief Tanya Chapman was invited to tonight's event, but did not attend. A spokeswoman for the department says the chief declined because Randall is running for mayor and she didn't want to show any political favor. The chief and other officers have participated in two neighborhood walks in recent months. That is part of the department's community engagement plan. And a third walk is scheduled through the Craddock neighborhood next Thursday night. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.